Hello, and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. We're back again with knives. And, uh, you know, recently we unboxed three different ones, and then we did a short on showing real quick about them. And they're all uh, throw club knives. Well, I told you at that time we were going to be doing individual reviews on each one. So what I've picked is, you probably already guessed which one, Venus, the shapely one. Uh, we're going to start off right with the case. I really like this case that's on it. You can even see it is one that it's not a, a kind of a throw-all type case, I guess you'd say. This has got the three knives in it, but it's tapered for that specific knife. Um, they come right in here. you got one that has an individual holder right up here in the front, which makes it nice because if you got it on your side, you can pull it out quick. And then you've got your two spares in behind it. Uh, it's got a Velcro fastener here, but I like this snap here. The one thing that I've noticed, and I don't think it's on this one, it's not, is that this isn't reinforced enough and a point is just slightly sticking out. But uh, this one is not what it is. Anyhow, here's the knife. Venus, I've measured it. It's a little over. I always measure and weigh them myself. I use a digital scale on it. It's a little over 10 inches long, and the weight is six ounces. Now, I do wish it was a little heavier, but with that design, it'd be kind of tough to be. And like I said, it's a throw club. Here's the logo. You might be able to see it right there, I hope. It's right on a handle. Uh, I think I got it there for you to see. There. Anyway, it is a little bit different logo. Um, so that you can see what I'm talking about. But this is called a Venus. And it is definitely a no-spin knife because you can see the way that it is straight across. It's got a very thick tang, which I like, because you can use it all different ways this way. You can choke way up, you can use it way down here for the no-spin, but it also works well for half-spin and full-spin plus multi-spin uh, because the point works out perfectly to go right down here. I like to have it fit just like that on my hand when I'm throwing a multi-spin. And we're gonna be doing all of them. But let's start out with the no-spin first. Get them all out of here. The shape of this knife does make it a little bit difficult when you're choking up when you wanna go further back. But we start out just like this. Okay, we got those to stick. Now I'm going to go back just a little bit further and I'll show you first how I'm holding them. It went in pretty good. Now, as I told you, I did it like that. We're going to go further back and I'm going to take this finger and put it in front of here. It's not choking up that much, but I don't need that much. Okay, there we go. And uh, now let's try a full spin. It didn't stick real deep, you know? I mean, about that far. For okay, now let's try it for a full spin. I'm going to hold it just like this. It's going to tuck right down here in the heel of my hand, throwing them backwards. And I'm going to go back here. I'm going to be at competition distance to start off with these. Bad for you know, I totally forgot about a half spin. <laughs> I told you at first I was going to do that. I hold it right like this. So let's turn around and do a half spin. Got it. Okay. They work pretty good for half spin. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go for a multi spin. You'll notice that up there, I threw a half spin like this. Now this multi-spin, way back here, we're going to move this down to here. I'm going to use this like a trigger. So let's get around here and try to give it a shot. A little low, like it's there. Got it. And like I said, the one's a little low, 
but all of them stuck. And we're back here at eh, setting about 16, 18 feet. So, uh, not too bad. Well, that was the Throw Club Venus. And uh, it didn't do too bad. Uh, this knife, though, with all the curves in that, you have to definitely find the way that you want to hold it, as I showed you with it. Uh, and it it will work. Uh, the no spin, it's going to take a little while to really go way back with this thing, I think. But uh, it did work, so you can definitely learn on it. Like I said, it, to me, it's a real good spin knife. Uh, I think that the hold on that, the handle and everything on it, it's a real good spin knife. So, not too bad of a knife. So until next time, shoot safe. And throw safe and have a great day of blinking.